All right, so last time we did a video, we talked about building the Web3 website and a little bit about crypto and how I kind of believe it's like the future of branding. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create your own coin or deploy a, a smart contract on the Avalanche chain. Uh, this is also applicable if you wanted to put it on Binance or Ethereum or any other Ethereum-based chain. Uh, so it's it's translatable there. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to remix.ethereum.org. And this is where you kind of code your, your contract. Uh, this can also be done other places that you can you can code contracts in Visual Studio Code. You can install Hardhat and, and do it there. I've done that on a different project. Um, but for beginners and, and just kind of basic stuff, uh, this web interface of Remix does a great job. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a new file. We're going to call this sumato coin dot sol. And here now we have our, our blank template. Um, I'm just going to use somebody else's code that has does a pretty good job here. I'll include the link to this code on GitHub. Um, you can just copy and paste, super simple here. All we're doing is creating a token. And the, the purpose for me around the idea and, and branding purposes is this is an easy way to look at the idea of making like a rewards program for the website. So I want consumers to be able to purchase the product um, and then if they engage with my brand however I'd like them to, um, I can reward them these coins or tokens. And then eventually we'll integrate into the website the way to be able to redeem those coins, Sumato coins, uh, for, for product uh, via the website. So once we have the the basic code here all we're going to do is is adjust the names of it so i want this to be called Sumato coin um, we'll give it a, a token name of Sumo. Um, this is a hexadecimal code it, puts over here. So this is our number of how many coins do we want to mint when we're, we're creating this, our total supply. Um, so right now it's set to 10,000. Uh, bump that to 100,000. Uh, throw a few more zeros on here. I want it to be kind of like uh, probably close to a trillion coins just so I never have the worry of running out. I, they're not ever going to really carry a, an actual value. Um, just for the purposes of branding you know this isn't to, to make a currency not another crap coin um putting it out here for for different purpose so there's no no cap on how many coins i can mint there um, once we have that we come over to this side of the page um, the very first piece of any smart contract, you need to declare what version of Solidity. Solidity is the uh, programming language that Ethereum-based contracts are written in. Um, you need to match our compiler with that, that version. So this is 0.8.2. We're going to match that up on our compiler here, language Solidity. Uh, that's all good. And then we're going to say compile coin. So after we have that, we're going to drop down to deploy and run contracts. And we're going to change to injected web three. Injected web three means it's going to integrate with your web or your MetaMask. Um, so right here, I'm on the Avalanche test network. Uh, whatever network you are selected on when you deploy a contract is what the contract will deploy to. So since I am on the test net, it'll deploy to the test net. If I want to deploy to the live net, I have to go to the live net. Um, 
if I wanted to deploy this on the on the Binance Smart Chain, I could deploy it on the Binance Smart Chain. Uh, if I wanted to deploy to Ethereum, I could deploy directly to Ethereum just by making sure that I'm on the correct network. Um, so I'm actually going to deploy this live to the Avalanche C Chain network, uh, which is a virtual Ethereum machine. Over here, we're just going to check account that matches so this is my wallet address i can see here this is also my wallet address um, we don't need to adjust the gas limit that should be okay there um, and then just double check because once this is deployed live to the network you can't take it off the network um, so we're going to go ahead and hit deploy it's going to open a MetaMask to ask if I want to confirm the transaction and pay the gas fees. This is less than a dollar worth of Avalanche here. I'm going to go ahead and confirm that. And then down here, it is compiling, deploying to the chain. And then this is our transaction hash. So this is, says now that it's been completed. So here, if we open that up, so you click on it, we can see our transaction hash, where it went from, the token, um, and you can open this up. Oh, it doesn't open there. So over here, so this is where we're going to interact with the the contract a little bit. Um, if we take this, this is our transaction hash. Copy that. Um, and then we're going to jump over to Snow Trace. And this is where you can see the transactions on the Avalanche chain network. So we're going to throw our transaction hash in here. And we can see it was created one minute ago. Uh, created this contract and this is our token that was created token tracker sumato coin ticker sumo uh, has been created um, so we can see that there but now when I come over to here I don't see it in my things so what we need to do is we need to mint those coins. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this for transfer. We're going to come to our wallet. We're going to grab our wallet address. Throw it in here. We're going to give it a unit of, or a value of one. Uh, just to make the transaction happen, we're going to say transact. It's going to Throw one more line here for us to do. Um, and we had to pay another small gas fee. This is just a couple cents. And confirm. And now, these should show up. So this is send token. View on, so if I'm going to say view on the blockchain explorer here. This will pull back up the transaction feed because it grabbed the wrong thing so what we want though is we just want to grab the contract address which is right here so if we grab this contract address and we come over to our metamask and we say our assets and import the token throw that in token address in there token symbol is sumo add custom token import the token and we're good to go so now if i look i have one trillion uh sumato tokens in my account um can be send those to various people uh, what we're going to do after we set this up is is take these and integrate them into the website that we'll be able to uh, issue them to people who purchase uh, our product and then allow them to then give them back 
to us for additional product or exclusive merchandise uh, and just kind of get that engagement with the community. Uh, similar process for issuing NFTs um, and anything else on that chain. Um, so that gives you just kind of a an overall high level summary of how to create your own coin. Um, when you do this, it's good to save all of this stuff and it actually will save on um, Remix. If you reopen Remix, it'll be there. Um, what I want to do here, so one other thing that's, that's relevant um, whenever you're <clears throat> doing this is to get your ABI. So this ABI and your byte code are, are relevant to save, at least from a development standpoint, if you're gonna do future interactions with this or try to integrate it. So where I want to integrate this into my website, I need the ABI to be able to act spe interact specifically with this token in other capacities. So I'm just gonna copy this ABI. Um, So I need to keep that ABI and we're going to grab bytecode. And save that for later. So that gives you that gives you the summary there. Uh, if you have questions or thoughts or comments or you want me to send you some Consumato coin, feel free to say something in the comments uh, or leave your wallet address and I'll send you some and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, let me know.